Welcome to Tanish Max. Today it is our 11th standard NCRT derivatives we are going to do in this exercise uh, 12.2. I have discussed with you product rule, I have discussed with you quotient rule, I have discussed with you function over function. So with all this, any problem given to you could be done in a very easy way. Okay, we will see now. Uh, it's problem 5 in exercise 12.2 and I'm going to do miscellaneous. These are the questions I've taken for today's discussion. For the function fx equal to x power 100 by 100 plus x power 99 by 99 and so on x square by 2 plus x plus 1 we have to show f dash 1 is equal to 100 into f dash 0. We have to show that. fx is equal to x power 100 by 100 plus x power 99 by 99 plus x square by 2 plus x plus 1. What is going to be ef dash x? x power n. n into x power n minus 1 and 1 by 100 is a constant. 1 by 100. 100 into x power 99 plus 99 into x power 98 by this 99 and so on. It is 2x by 2 plus 1 and derivative of 1 will be 0. So this, 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 this gets cancelled. So f dash x is equal to. Terms. So f dash 1, 1 plus 1 plus 1, 99 plus another 100. And what is f dash 0? 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. So 100 f dash 0 is 100 into 100. What does this imply? f dash 1 is 100. And 100 into f dash 0 is also 100. So both are equal. Okay. I hope it's clear. Find the derivative of. This is miscellaneous. <laughs> of course, p, q are all constants. Uh, next we have 
product product and function of a function that is chain rule y is equal to ax plus b into cx plus b whole square so dy by dx first function into derivative of the second function plus second function into derivative of the first function this is ax plus b x power n x power n chain rule so 2 into cx plus d 2 minus 1 will be 1 followed by derivative of cx plus d because that's what you have in the place of x plus cx plus d whole square into derivative of ax is a derivative of b is c so this will be ax plus b into 2 will be here cx plus d into derivative of cx plus d derivative of cx is c derivative of d will be 0 plus cx plus d whole square into a this is the answer uh, you multiply and give the answer also if you want. Next, quotient rule. Next will be quotient rule. Cx plus d by Cx plus Ax plus b by Cx plus d. Down this way is Ax plus b by Cx plus d. Denominator. Denominator. Into derivative of the numerator. Minus numerator. Into derivative of the denominator. By the denominator square. So this is Cx plus D. Derivative of Ax plus B is A minus. Derivative of Cx plus D is C by Cx plus D whole square. Acx. Acx will get cancelled. Ad minus Bc divided by cx plus b whole square. This will be your answer. So what is question two? A denominator into derivative of the numerator minus numerator into derivative of the denominator by the denominator square. Okay. Next. y is equal to 1 plus 1 by x by 1 minus 1 by x. y is equal to. I will stop you starting like that and doing. You can. Take LCM. By x. So that x and x will get cancelled. So this will be now. Furthermore also you can simplify this by adding a minus 1 like that also you could do. Y is equal to e denominator into derivative of the numerator minus numerator into derivative of the denominator by the denominator square. So this is x minus 1. Derivative of x plus 1 is 1 minus x plus 1 
derivative of x minus 1 is 1 by x minus 1 whole square. x and x will get cancelled. So, you will get minus and another minus minus 2 by x minus 1 whole square. Now, the same question you can do like this. You can write y is equal to You can do like this. So, this by this will be 1. And this by this will be 2 by x minus 1. So, now when you find out dy by dx, this 1 will become 0. Derivative of 1 will become 0. And you can find out the derivative of this, which will be same as this. Okay. This, this also will be done. Next. One by a x square plus b x plus c. Y is equal to take it at the top, it will become minus one. So dy by dx. Chain rule, chain rule, chain rule. X power n, x power n. N into x power n minus 1. Followed by minus 1, minus 1 and minus 1. Followed by whatever you have in the place of x. So this will be minus. What is derivative of ax square? a 2x. What is derivative of bx? b. So this is going to be the answer. If you want you can bring this down and write it as ax square plus bx plus c whole square. If you want. This is minus here. If you bring it down it will become plus. So next we go for. Next we go for. This is over. Now we'll go for this ax plus b by px square plus qx plus r. Divide by dx. Denominator. Interderivative of the numerator. I am writing every step so that you will feel comfortable when you watch it. Denominator into derivative of the numerator minus numerator into derivative. Speak out, speak out. You are not feeling shy when you are learning. Speak out and the more you speak out, the formulas will be more thorough to you. So, denominator and the numerator, we got it. Denominator, derivative of numerator, minus numerator, derivative of denominator, by the denominator square. This is Px square plus Qx plus R. What is this? A minus ax plus b. What is this? Derivative of px square is x square is 2x. There is a p here. So it is 2px plus q divided by. Now we have If something is getting cancelled, you can multiply it and cancel. Otherwise, you can just leave it like that. This is the answer. If the pattern is multiplying it and getting it, you can get it. Otherwise, you can leave it like this. This is the answer. Calculus part is over here. Multiplication is only a liberate part. So, we have finished this question. Now, we will go for this.
y is equal to p x square plus q. Same thing, it's given upside down by a x plus b. Denominator in the Samya, denominator into derivative of the numerator. Derivative of the numerator minus numerator into derivative of the denominator by the denominator square. By the denominator square. So this will be now. dy by dx ax plus b px square x square is 2x 2px this is q r will be 0 minus px square plus qx plus r into derivative of ax will be a and derivative of b will be 0 by by denominator square if you want you can multiply 2px into ax so it is 2pax square and here you have apx square if you want you can do that so it is 2pax square and it is pax square minus. So one will get cancelled. Then you have qax. I think I will better multiply and show you. ax into 2px plus q into ax plus b into this. plus b q minus p x square a minus q x a minus r a by so q a x q a x Is the highest term here. Next we go for QAX and QAX has got cancelled. Now this is 2BPX plus BQ minus RA by AX plus B whole square. Now these two could be joined together. 2 times something and a single time that. So this will become P A X square. The rest can't be joined. Okay? You can't join. They are not like terms. Multiplying and giving the answer in the pattern he has asked. Uh, that is a very ordinary process. This is only the calculus process. So we are left with now A by X square. Minus a by x power 4. Minus b by x square. Cos x. I would like to give the steps. So that you follow those steps in the exam. And you get full marks. There is an impressive way to give your paper, isn't it? Somebody is correcting who doesn't know you. Then how will you convey to them that everything is fine with you? So now, 
dy by dx. First step. First step. dy by dx. Flip it. There is a constant. x power minus 4. Minus 4 into x power minus 5. If you want, you can get this by x power 5. Minus. Minus this minus here brought here. This is x power minus 2. So minus 2 into. That will become plus b into x power minus 3. And what is derivative of cos x? minus sin x. So this will be your answer for the question. So next we go for let's go for this question. ax plus b into cx plus d whole power m. It's a product rule bound with chain. So dy by dx. First function into derivative of the second function plus Second function into derivative of the first function. This is ax plus b whole power n. Cx plus d whole power n, x power n, chain rule. m into cx plus d whole power n minus 1. Followed by derivative of cx plus d. What is, I write it. Plus, CH plus D whole power N. This is chain rule X power N. N into AX plus B whole power N minus 1 followed by derivative of AX plus B. Which is now. Okay. So now we have. Now we have dy by dx. First function. So here, this is derivative of cx plus d whole power n. No? So m into So I have written here this under. m into cx plus b whole power n minus 1. Only one more question is there. cx plus d whole power n minus 1. Derivative of cx plus d is c by, sorry, plus cx plus d whole power n n into ax plus b whole power n minus 1. And derivative of ax plus b is a. Here, Calculus ends. Now, if you want answers in various pattern, you can take ax plus b whole power n minus 1 outside. You can take cx plus d whole power n minus 1 outside. Open a bracket. ax plus b whole power n minus 1 outside, it is n here. So it will be ax plus b. Cx plus d whole power m minus 1. M minus 1 is here. So m into c. Plus. Cx plus d whole power m here. But m minus 1 is taken outside. So it will be cx plus d. And here ax plus b whole power m minus 1. That is taken outside. It is n into a. Can you remember that? 
or still it would be multiplied. Last question, simple, simple, simple question. Sin A x plus A, sin x plus A. Chain rule, simple chain rule. What's the main function? Sin. What is derivative of the main function? Cos. So dy by dx. Cos x plus a. What is that you have in the place of x? x plus a. So this will be followed by derivative of x plus a. So this is cos of x plus a. And derivative of this is 1. So this is the answer for this. So this is our uh, uh, miscellaneous with chapter 12. We will continue in the next video with more questions from this exercise.